few weeks ago, we learned about list. And we learned that we can create a list by putting items inside of square brackets. In this case, they have several strings of flavors, cherry, lemon, grape, apple, banana. Could also be fruits rather than flavors. And I put those into a list called XYZ. And we learned that we could print XYZ. And we get those flavors in display. We also learned that we could take XYZ and call a sort method. And then we could print XYZ. And we see they're now sorted. Apple, banana, cherry, grape, lemon. They're sorted alphabetically. So the sort method is really nice for working with simple lists. But in our last lesson, we created a object called a grocery item and a class to create that object. And then in our program, we created a list of grocery items. And for our shopping list, we ran the program and added a bunch of items in. I'm just going to add in to, let's do the bread section. I'm going to add in some tortillas. Some hamburger buns. Some bread. I'll add one more item and let's add some cinnamon rolls. Okay, I'm going to end there. I just want to print out that one aisle and let's do a P to print our shopping list and look at the bread section. Oh, but I messed up in the hamburger buns. I put an ap uh, apostrophe after the B accidentally. But we have three items tortillas, bread, cinnamon rolls. I'd like those to be sorted so that they're alphabetical. And we just saw the sort routine for a list. So I'm going to come in here and before I print the shopping list, let's take my list and sort it. And again, I'm going to run. And we'll add those same items back in. And now let's print and we get an error. And the error we get is that the less than is not supported between instances of grocery item and grocery item. So the sort routine does not work for a list of objects. Well, let's fix that. So I'm going to go to my class for grocery item. We're going to create a new function. This is going to be a dunder method or magic method for LT. So I want two underscores. LT standing for less than two underscores. And then we're going to pass it both self and other. What this does, it compares two items. For one is self, one is other. And we're going to return a Boolean expression. And what's going to happen is the sort method is going to use this dunder method to alphabetize our list. What we're going to do is just say self dot description. Is less than other dot description. And that's all we need to do. Let's save that. We still have our sort method being called, which gave us an error before, but now that we've added this dunder method to our class, it should sort the list based on the description, which is a string value of the A to Z. So let's run this. And again, I'm going to add some items. I'm just going to add the items back in for our bread aisles. We had tortillas, hamburger buns, bread, and cinnamon rolls. We'll end our list there. Let's print our list. And now we get those items alphabetized in the bakery section. Let's do one more thing. Let me kill my program. I'm going to come back here to our LT. And this time, I'm going to I'm going to take the string value of self dot aisle. 
and we'll concatenate self dot description, and we'll do the same thing here with other dot aisle. Let's make sure we take the string value of that. And uh, uh, just to be safe, I'm going to put these in parentheses to make sure that those are executed before we do the comparison. So I'm going to do a file save. I'm going to come back to my program, and I'm going to take my function for shopping list. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to paste it in as a new function we'll call shopping list 2. And again, we're going to sort the list. We're passing the list into my list. And then for item in my list, we're going to print item. And then up here in our main, rather than calling shopping list, we're going to call shopping list 2. So we're using that method instead. OK, let's try running this. I'll save it. I'm going to add a bunch of items. All right, so I've added a bunch of items in. I think I've hit all the aisles and the outside areas of produce, bread, dairy, frozen, and meat. I'm going to end my list here. And now let's choose to print. And now we get everything sorted by aisle and alphabetically within the aisle. So let's take a look here at the produce section. Apples, Brussels sprouts, grapefruit, which I misspelled, lettuce, plums, and yams. Here's the bread section, or the bakery section. Bread, cinnamon rolls, hamburger buns, tortillas, dairy, butter, creamer, frozen, asparagus, ice cream. So each of the aisles are alphabetized. So we have basically did a primary sort and a secondary sort. So that's how you can use the Dunder method of LT to sort your custom objects. If you just jumped into this video and haven't seen the prior videos to this, I invite you to check out my Python playlist of videos. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.